If you subtract large binary numbers using normal binary subtraction operation, then it requires lots of efforts like this. But what if instead of this, there is another method quite simple than this? Yes, that method is binary subtraction using one's complement. And that is what we are going to learn in this video. In normal binary subtraction, we do A minus B is equal to C. But in binary subtraction using one's complement method, we do A plus of minus B is equal to C. Now, what do I mean by this? Let me tell you that. This means here we take one's complement of B and then we add that one's complement with A to get the subtraction C. And in normal method, we directly subtract this B from A to get the subtraction C. So now let's understand this with an example. So here we'll take an example to understand the entire process of binary subtraction using one's complement in step by step manner. So these are our two numbers that we are going to subtract. A is our minute and B is our subtrand. And this is what we are going to do to achieve our subtraction. So to achieve this, in step number one, we need to convert the subtrand into the one's complement form. Or simply I can say, convert the number to be subtracted in the one's complement form. So here this is our subtrand, so we are going to convert the subtrand into its one's complement form. So let's write our subtrand and now we'll write its one's complement form. So how to write one's complement form? That we have learned in our previous video. So the simplest method is just replace all the ones with zeros and replace all the zeros with one. So the ones complement of this number is one zero one zero zero. So now we get the ones complement form and now it's time for step number two. In step number two, we add both A and one's complement of B. So this is our A and this one is the one's complement of B. So first of all, we'll write A and then we'll write one's complement of B. And now let's add them. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 is 0 and carries 1 to the next column. Now 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 and carries 1 to the next column. And that carry we are going to write over here. So this is the result of this addition. And now we'll jump for the third and important step. In step number 3, we have two process to do. Either this or this. If the AND carry in previous addition is 1, the answer is positive and then we are supposed to add that carry to the LSB of that addition or else if the AND carry of previous addition is 0, the answer is negative and we need to convert it into its 1's complement form. So let us understand these two things. So here in our previous addition, our final carry over here you can see it is 1, right? So our final carry is 1 or you can even call it AND around carry. So because our AND carry is 1, we should follow this option. And as per this option, what we supposed to do? Let's understand now. So this is the result of our addition and now we supposed to drop this carry from here and add it to the LSB of the same number. So now we are going to add this carry into this number. So 1 plus 1, the sum is 0 and carry will be 1 to the next column. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 1 0 so the result of step number 3 is 0 1 0 1 0 and this is the answer of subtraction of these two numbers using one's complement method now let's just quickly verify that the answer is correct or not so in order to verify we'll do the regular subtraction so this is our a this is our b we'll do a minus b so 1 minus 1 is 0 1 cannot be subtracted from 0 so we'll ask for borrow so it becomes 1 0 it will be 0 so 1 0 minus 1 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 cannot be subtracted from 0. So again we'll ask for borrow. So it is 1 0, so 1 minus 1 0 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0. So the answer of the subtraction is 0 1 0 1 0. Now let's compare this answer with the previous one. So now let's place the answer over here. So it's 0 1 0 1 0 and it's the same as this one. So it proves that our answer is correct. So this is how we do binary subtraction using one's complement. But now let us take another example to understand the second option. So this is our another example. It is A, it is B and this is the process that we are going to achieve. So in step number one, first of all, we'll take one's complement of subtrand. This is our subtrand. So we'll write it over here and we'll convert it into its one's complement form. And that will be 
this here it is 1 so we'll write 0 here it is 0 so we'll write 1 1 0 1 so to get 1's complement you just simply inverse the values so 0 1 1 0 1 is the 1's complement of this number and now it's time for step number 2 in step number 2 we'll add 1's complement of subtrand to the minute so this 0 1 0 1 1 is our minute and 0 1 1 0 1 is the 1's complement of our subtrand so now let's do the addition 1 plus 1 is 0 1 is carry 1 plus 1 is 0 1 is carry 1 plus 1 is 0 1 is carry now 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1 is carry and that 0 plus this one is 1 now 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 here I am doing binary addition and subtraction very quickly and if you have any doubt in binary addition and subtraction then you can refer my previous videos on binary addition and subtraction. The link of that video will be in description box and above here in i button. So this is the result of step number 2 and here you can see we do not find any carry over here. We do not have any carry here. So in step number 3 we have two processes to choose. If the AND carry is 1, then we're supposed to add it to the result of step number 2. And if the AND carry is 0, we're supposed to take 1's complement of the result in step number 2. And here you can see our AND carry is 0. We do not have any AND carries. So when the AND carry is 0, our final answer will be negative. And here our AND carry is 0. So our final answer will be negative. And previously we have discussed when the AND carry is 1, our final answer will be positive. And when the end carry is 0, our final answer will be negative. And when the end carry is 0, the result of this addition will be in 1's complement form of our real answer. So this number is actually in 1's complement form of our actual answer. So in order to get our actual answer, we are supposed to take 1's complement of this number. So now we are going to write 1's complement of this number and that will be, here it is 0, so we will write 1, 0, so we will write 1, 0, so we will write 1, 1, so we will write 0 and 0. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 will be our answer. And what I have told earlier, the answer is negative. So our actual answer is minus 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now let's quickly verify this. This is our number that we are going to subtract. Decimal equivalent to this number is 11 and decimal equivalent to this number is 18. So 11 minus 18 gives us minus 7. Now what is binary equivalent to 7? That is 1, 1, 1. But here we are representing number in 5 digit format or we can say 5 bit format. So what we will do to complete the requirement? We will add 2 additional 0 on left hand side. So representation of positive 7 in 5 bit format is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. But it is not positive 7, it is negative 7. So actually our answer is minus 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And now let's get back to our method. Now let's write the answer that we got. And you can see that the answer is same. So this is how you can use 1's complement to do the binary subtraction. Now let me show you entire process very quickly. The entire process is very simple. In step number 1, take 1's complement of subtrand. In step number 2, add minute and 1's complement of subtrand. And in step number 3, if final carry is 1, then add it to the LSB. And if final carry is 0, then take 1's complement of that number and make it negative. Here are two examples for self-practice. Do it now and write the answer in comments to check have you got the correct concept or not. Now in next video, we are going to learn how to do binary subtraction using 2's complement. And generally binary subtraction using 2's complement is preferred over 1's complement. Why it is like this? I'll tell you in that video. So now let's quickly jump to that video.